Hi, this is Jeff with Cloud and C, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up the cycle time estimator in Canvases for Mastercam. So in the Cloud and C part of the ribbon here in Mastercam 2025, I'm going to click on the cycle time estimator. And this is just going to load in a moment. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is load in a, a bunch of parts that are in a folder. So I've got a folder all ready to go here on my desktop, and I've got within that folder load five files that have been set up with a machine group and the stock is defined as you would normally as if you're going to run cam assist however i just saved them at that point so they're just master cam files ready to be run through cam assist and what i might do in this case here just for the video is i'm going to take off one of them just so we run it a little bit quicker so you can use this queue to kind of get your jobs lined up and then I'm also going to just switch over to the estimates page first because they do stack up. So what I could do is run a series of estimates and have them show up already. The ones that have already run will be in the estimates folder. So the last time I left the cycle time estimator, I actually hit a button to clear them. So why don't I just put two in there to start and show you how that works. And I'm going to run all those estimated parts through the same tool library. So there's my tool library selected there. I've got 262 tools. We'll run this in aluminum, and then I'll pick my alloy here. Let's do this in 5083. And they are all three axis parts. So I'm gonna hit run. And in series, it's gonna run these parts through the cycle time estimator. Our goal with the cycle time estimator is to get the time it'll take to machine these parts. So we've, we're taking into account uh, some of the basic parameters of the machining. And we've also included the uh, tool change time. All of those variables are set in the machine section here that's collapsed up right at the moment. I'll show you that when we run it again. Okay, so now it's loaded the second part. So as you can see, we're running some very basic parts here for this demo, but you, they can be more complicated, have more than one uh, machine group. Etc. They just have to be all in the same group when we run them concurrently like this, or in the same machine mode. So in a moment, those two parts will be ready to go, and they'll be in my queue. Okay, so as you can see, we've got 18 operations, and part one and part two are in my queue. Now I could choose to clear them off here, or I could clear them off individually. So this would clear both of them, this would clear one of them but I could come back to my estimator and then I'm gonna stack some more files on here. So I'm gonna get rid of those two, open my file again. I'm gonna select that same demo folder. Now I've already run one and two, so I'm gonna take them off. And there's another good reason to do that. They've already, since we ran them through the estimator, they've got tool pass applied to them now. So if we rerun them, they're going to be calculating files that already have toolpaths on them and multiple toolpaths. So it'll be a little, quite a bit less performant. So we want to run like that. I'm going to keep all my material group the same here. And then just to uh, show you where to set the tool change time, I have it at a hefty eight seconds right now, just to kind of be very apparent in my output. And then I also could use this as a way to sort of pad my estimate if I want my quote to reflect some of those intangible elements of the shop. So I'm going to hit run again, and so I'm running uh, parts three, four, five. So they'll run in series. And again, this is just like running cam assist. So they're, those parts are being sent up to the cloud with the uh, machine group properties and the tool library properties. Cam assist is using its AI to examine them apply appropriate tools based on what it has available in that library, and then sending the information back to Mastercam as a set of tool paths, a set of organized tool paths. So they're organized by the, the operations. So there's one more part to go here. Ten ops on part five, and very soon, It'll be at the end of the estimation process. We'll get a confirmation message again. So I can click OK here. 
And now I have parts five, three, four, one, two. Not quite sure the ordering there, but they're all in there. Again, I could choose to remove them for the next stage. In this cycle time estimates view as well, I can view the, the bounding box of the parts. So I'm in inch mode right now, and I can see that how many faces have been machined, so how, how much op of the operation is remaining, or how much is maybe well, going to be in a secondary operation. Then I can come to the export tab here. And here I can put in quantities. I could just leave these as one. I can also remove them from the estimate report. So I'm going to just going to leave that on them all checked. And I'm going to make a dozen of each one. So I'm going to add a two to each of these fields. I'm going to make a dozen of each part. That's what my customer wants if I'm running this as an estimate. And I'm going to export the result. So that uh, folder path is actually the, the same folder path that we initially have those files configured in. So there it is there. And here's my result that I just made. And now I'm just going to open up that, that file in a converted format. I've just moved it over into a Google Sheet here. So it's a CSV that we're exporting out of Camasys Cycle Time Estimator. And here is the, the file just with some very minor formatting, just to make it a little more clear for the video here. So we've got uh, part five there, six minutes and 18 seconds. If I want 12 of them, it's gonna take me an hour and 15 minutes. And here's the breakdown uh, for the roughing operations, 230, including 214 for one tool and 16 seconds for the next. So there is a tool change time built into those calculations as well. And here's part three, 411 times 12, 50 minutes, and the breakdown for each operation. And the same for the other parts in that estimation run. So that was an introduction to the cycle time estimator. It's available in Cam Assist. It's in MasterCamp 2025. And if you need more information, don't be afraid to reach out to CloudNC. And thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more content from us. Thank you.